Port Townsend, located roughly about a two-hour drive from Seattle and an hour and a half from Tacoma, became an official city April of 1851 on the National Register of Historic Places. The entire city seems to be frozen in time, with no chain restaurants or fast food places in sight. You get the true experience of an authentic Pacific Northwest town from days of old. But we're jumping ahead. Let's start from the beginning when we drove into town and Sienna loses her marbles over historic buildings. It's our five-year wedding anniversary. Look it. Look it. Oh. Oh, Port Townsend's so cute. Look at all the people playing, not tennis. What was that? Pickleball. Was that pickleball? I've never seen pickleball. Didn't that originate here? God, look at the views. Oh my God, people get to live here. Their front door is just wide open. Just like, welcome to Port Townsend where we just don't close our doors. Who has doors? Why would you need a door? Oh, look at the little kids. This hotel is so cute. I can't express how adorable it is. It's an old Victorian building. It's called the Bishop. It's right downtown. So you literally walk out the door and you're right on the water. This place is pet friendly. They ask you like accommodation wise what you need and we'll provide the beds and little treat bags and a place for them to eat. I love the brick exposed wall and the artwork. It's just so vintage. Love this so much. Little fireplace, it'll be nice tonight. A TV, they actually have a kitchen and coffee maker. Here's the bedroom, little stand up shower. Oh, I knew it, they had Lakatan. <sighs> oh, yes, I'm so excited. What kind of lovely treats did they give you guys? <laughs> what did you get? Well, let's see, you want one? Okay. Okay. <laughs> and then it looks like the water's here and then downtown is this cute little area. Oh my God. Okay, this might be like my new favorite place. What? <laughs> Port Townsend and coming to stay here. I think we should get something for under, under <gasps> Yes. Oh my God, it's $699 for that. that one. Salmon. That would match our new painting. It would. We can definitely get it. It would. <laughs> He's just gonna walk right into it. Marvin! <laughs> It's just li <laughs> Why are you so weird? <laughs> My water dog. <laughs> My little water dog. The Swan Hotel is so cute. Okay, we're staying here next, because then you totally have your own spot. Oh yeah, they're like these little, that's so cool. And it's a pet friend way. Oh, he got a buddy right there. He took out a buddy and he says, I'm waiting for my family to come get me. Here's the little backyard courtyard of the Bishop Hotel. It's so cute. Whoa. We are basically trying to decide where we want to eat dinner because there are so many amazing options. And this little gazebo has a fire pit. And we were thinking of getting burgers and just sitting outside with the dog somewhere. You have know it? I cannot believe they have this. Seriously, it just keeps getting better. I've never seen so many tater tots in my entire life. We went to a place called Batch Brothers because it's supposed to be the best burgers. 
in Port Townsend. It's so, I'm drooling. <laughs> Look at that thing. It's insanely good. Mm. That truly was the best burger I've ever had in my entire life. We went to sleep and on to the next day. This is the hotel's bottle shop. It's like a little wine and pastry and coffee cafe at the uh, check-in area when you come into the hotel. And they bake these pastries every morning. So this morning we woke up to the smell of croissants. <laughs> Not mad at it. And I also grabbed a couple of lattes. I slept like absolute shit. This bed is way too hard for me. It actually doesn't feel like it when you're sitting on it. And I think Lyle liked it. It was so hard for me. It was making my, like I have sciatica issues from when I bartended for so long. It made my sciatica ache. I could feel it in my lower back and it started doing the shooting pains down my leg. I was like, great. So luckily we're gonna do lots of walking today, which is good for helping with that. So hopefully that'll work it out a little bit. I should do some stretches because I got to sleep one more night in here. I'm pretty sure this is a full bed. I can't do hard anymore and I can't do full like full size beds. I need a big, I need like a king. <laughs> I'm like that. I'm the princess in the pea. I need a king bed, period. I need to call and make sure that this next trip that we have planned coming up this summer that the hotel that we booked has a king because, I mean, I think I can swing a queen. No, no, I can't. Because we let the dog sleep in the bed with us. Don't tell anybody. I mean, they clean the sheets. Anyway, sidebar. Um, but yeah, we are gonna go take them to get a little bath and brush out while we go soak at soak. We just got out of the soaking spa, this place right here. 10 out of 10 recommend. <laughs> it was so nice. 50 minutes soaking. We had to both get out of the water for a few minutes and just like get cold air on us. And actually we got out and took a cold shower halfway through just cause it was a little bit steamy hot and we're not used to that. But it was just so relaxing and it was salt water. I, it got in my mouth and I was like, oh yeah, that's all <laughs> but it was so nice and we both feel like jello right now then the rest of the day is really just a free-for-all we found the perfumery is around the corner from us so I need to go home and shower because I didn't get my hair wet so this is like just damp nastiness I need to shower start fresh and then get on with the day but I think the weather that we're facing today is literally gloom oh, look at <gasps> oh. My God, look at the way he just confidently trots. This is the way I should go into life. We got some clean, fluffy babies. Boosting Port Townsend's economy. <laughs> we sure are. <laughs> they, they were really nice at the Pet Town Dog Spa. Very much. Very friendly ladies. I recommend it. Ooh, Habitat. I love Habitat. Those faces. That was perfect. It was like we were heading there and they called. I know. Everything's been working out really well. It couldn't have been like more planned out. I mean, I've become a planner. I've become an expert vacation planner. Hi, 
I just got out of the shower, I just blow dried my hair, and I'm kind of getting ready for the afternoon. We're gonna go walk over to the little spot for the perfume and room spray, hopefully incense, and then we're gonna go to an antique shop and look at some of the stuff that they had that looked like it would be really, really cool for our under our TV. We've been saying that we wanted to get something while we were out on a trip exploring that would be sentimental to put there instead of just buying a decoration. This is what I have on. It's just some high-waisted paper bag, waist pants. This is not what I'm wearing to dinner though. Um, little bodysuit and then I have a blazer. I'm gonna pop over top of this and yeah. We walked over to the perfumery, which is literally right next door to the hotel. The old factory house has local made fragrances and candles and the beeswax they use in their candles are even made in house. So they actually do beekeeping to make the candle wax. I'll definitely be back to get more, but we did end up getting a new home spray, which I'll show later in the video. Oh goodness, I keep pumping into that outfit for dinner i feel so cute i finally get to wear the free people dress yeah buddy so i've got on a second layer underneath it it's because this is see-through but it's the cutest dress i love it so much i researched and found Finisterre as a highly rated farm to table style restaurant in Fort Townsend and it surpassed our expectations. They made me a lovely virgin margarita. I had the risotto, that was killer. I all got pasta, we split the sourdough and roasted Brussels sprouts and everything was superb. We're back! We ended up getting the most perfect situation where the, because we didn't want to leave the dogs because we were just worried that they were going to bark and whine the whole time, which is ironic because right now somebody across the hallway went to dinner and left their dog and it's barking and whining and it's annoying. And I'm so glad that we weren't those people. So we managed to just pray and hope that when we left that there would be a parking space somewhere in front of the restaurant that we went to. The restaurant was called Finistier and it was just kiss it was so good and we found a parking space no joke right in front of the window and when we walked in where did they sit us in the window <laughs> so we could literally see the dogs and they can see us and they just barked the whole time at everything <laughs> but at least they weren't bothering anybody and they were just in the car so it worked out so perfect this entire trip every single thing fell into place so perfectly. I'm so grateful for that. <laughs> He's barking at that dog across the street that's whining. Hopefully they come back soon because I hope that's not like we're gonna go out and have drinks and just leave their dog in there. That'd be messed up. Everything on this entire trip has fallen into place so well. I'm just incredibly grateful for that. I don't know what I did to deserve such an incredible trip <laughs> to just go so perfectly <laughs> but the like groomer people were able to get them in at the perfect time. We literally were in the car kind of you know, take a deep breath because it was a little like it took the wind out of us almost like getting up and then coming out and getting in the car After we got done with the spa, we were both just like hot and uh, They called as we were like in the car heading over your dogs are ready <laughs> And then it was just I don't know. It was just it was wild. It was weird how that all like Just worked out so well. So anyway, I'm not gonna keep saying that but I think I'm just in disbelief um, And then just dinner came out great if you plan on coming to port townsend uh here are some places in this video where we would recommend every single place was so good the hotel amazing just get a bigger bed if you're a particular person like i am maybe request a bigger bed oh and we got cheesecake i'm making coffee right now got to do some dishes from our blt we had for lunch but i'm making a fresh pot of coffee because <sighs> We've got cheesecake. We got it to go just because we had tortured the dogs enough with them being able to see us within three feet from <laughs> where they were sitting. What, what's going on? Oh, are you being crazy? You leave that dog alone. Here we go. Get the fire going. Get a movie on. Good morning. I don't have any makeup on yet, so... There's that. 
I'm so sick of apologizing for like makeup free. I don't know. Don't let them see you in your natural form. <laughs> I'm gonna get ready and we're gonna go get coffee. I don't know which one we're gonna do. I think we're gonna go back to the first one because I still haven't tried the orange peel coffee. I think I'm gonna hit the Goodwill on the way out of town. I have to thrift at least once in each city, whether it's even just popping in. I opted for just like some uh, here, set you in my luggage. These are actually Honey Love pants that they sent me. And look at how good they make my butt look. <laughs> That's a butt right there. And then I just have on a bodysuit with it and then I tossed on this like Michael Kors, uh, you know, fanny pack so that if we do go for a dog walk, I don't have a purse. I can't go on dog walks in a park with a purse. I just can't, I can't, it's weird. I'm gonna do my makeup and get this morning going. Morning dog walk to get coffee. The birds are singing. It's not raining yet, there's some drizzles. It's supposed to start dumping. So we're hoping to get all of the last things we need done, done. A little windy. Look at these little precious flowers. Huh? Oh, the electrical? The coolest tattoo shop in town, Townsend. Just look at how amazing this place is. That right there. That is a maritime tattoo shop if I've ever done seen. We are splitting baked goods. We've got blueberry muffins and a coffee cake. I love the way they pour the coffee. It's so cool. Isn't it cool how like when you place an order, they like pour your coffee right there? All right, we had a little breakfast in the room and we're gonna stop at the Goodwill on the way out of town. They're just gonna hang out in the car so I can just pop in and see, cause what if they have makeup cases? We're here at Port Townsend Goodwill. Woo -hoo! We've made it home. And I just wanted to show you guys the one thing I got at the thrift store. I was kind of in a hurry because they were in the car. Look, this amazing nautical Tommy Hilfiger blazer. Check it out. Oh my God, this thing is amazing. <gasps> I love it so much. It's got pockets even. It's, I love the structure. I'm all about this shape on me right now. That is so cute. Score. This is our new room fragrance, the P&W Room Spray. <laughs> oh my God, that smells so good. Oh my God. We don't have a real fireplace in our house. It's just nice to have that since we have a little faux fireplace and we can spray that and then feel like we've got a fireplace. It smells, I swear, exactly like if you're out in the woods and lit a little campfire. It smells like a campfire. I'm in heaven. I had to refresh my lipstick. I can't close this thing out with half my face done. I had such a lovely time. I hope this put Port Townsend on the map for you if you've never been there before. It's a lovely little town where everything seems to be frozen in time. So nice to see everything just preserved. The buildings are all preserved. Everything's still very historical and original. And I love that so much. You can even see a lot of Victorian houses were getting um, fixed. And so people are just keeping it exactly as it was. And I love seeing that. It literally feels like you're just going back in time. Anyway, that's going to be it. I hope you guys had fun joining us in our little trip to Port Townsend 
on to more adventures coming up. And uh, yeah, I really like these little travel vlogs the most because I feel like it helps just bring a little bit of, um, maybe like boost the tourism in the area and we focus on supporting local businesses. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.